Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I'm going to be unboxing my OK Beauty box for October. So let's get cracking. Hiya, how y'all doing? Oh, dropping my phone. I'm doing fine. Uh, apart from I've still got the red eyes, obviously, because I'm still filming this on Sunday. But um, I'm going to get them seen to tomorrow. So at some point, I'll, I'll get somebody to have a look at them and tell me what's up with them. But anyway, right. Okay, my OK Beauty Box has come. I love OK Beauty Box. I think at the moment, my favourite beauty box is probably Birch Box, which I'm stunned. I mean, the words are even coming out of my mouth because... How birch box used to be versus how it is now. Chalk and cheese. Chalk and cheese. Back in the day, birch box used to get tiny little samples of things. And I didn't really like it. Now, birch box, you get like eyeshadow palettes. You get all sorts in there. It's amazing. I love it, right? So I probably love my birch box. Um, I've just got a bit of sticker on my finger now, right? Okay. Um, but also, I really, really like my OK Beauty box, right? So it's come... I've no idea what's inside it. Didn't have a look at any sneaky peeks. So let's see. Let's see what's in here. Okie dokie. All right. Okie dokes. Right. What I like about it as well is they give me this leaflet. Right. So thank goodness for that. You also always get these two um, sort of vouchers for the OK magazine. I never use them. I never, ever use them. But if you're into the OK magazine, you get two of these with every box. So, you know, fab for those people who do actually buy magazines, which I don't. But, you know, it is what it is. Right, so let's have a look, see what's in here. Paradox. Right, OK. Uh, I am not a big fan of Paradox, if I'm honest. I think the fragrance puts me off, usually, or it used to do. I haven't tried it in ages, but, yeah... Now, as you remember, the fragrance used to put me off, but this is called, it says, 3-1 conditioner, and it says repair. Apre shampoo. Okay, let's have a look, see what it's like. I'll definitely use it if it's like um, a conditioner. It's got like a metal bit on the top. Okay, I can't puncture it. Right, it looks like you've got to puncture this metal bit on the top, but there's no peel thing. Can I get into it? Right, okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'll definitely use it. Whether I like the fragrance or not is neither here nor there. What's it say about this? It smells incredible too. A revitalising blend of lavender, eucalyptus and peppermint. See what I mean? It's for that reason I don't like it. Um, I'm not a big fan of the of sort of eucalyptus fragrance. And mint, I don't, well, I don't mind mint, you know, like chewing gum or toothpaste or something. But I don't really want my hair to smell of it. So, yeah, um, that's what puts me off paradox. It's not the actual, how it works or anything like that. It's just the fragrance of it I'm not a big fan of. So, how many mils do you get in here? 30 mils. I'll use it, but... Yeah, it's not my favourite. It's really, really... It's only based on the fragrance. It's just not my favourite, you know. I like things that smell fruity or florally. Not eucalyptus and mint. Right, that reminds me of... Mind when you used to have a blocked nose and your mum used to run you a bowl of boiling hot water, right? <laughs> Put one of them little dropper things in it. You used to have like a towel over the top and breathe it in to try and clear out your sinuses. That's what eucalyptus and mint are like to me. It's not particularly the happiest memory of my childhood, if I'm honest, because it always, it suggests or connotes being ill, you know. So, yeah, thanks for that. Not my favourite, but anyway, I'll probably use it. Right, next up is this. What fresh hell is this? Look at it. Looks like a torture device. What are you? Unlock your hair. Unlock your hair? What, do you, what are we doing with it? Let me have a look. It tells me on here. It says how to use. So what you got to do is after you've shampooed your hair. Okay, oh, they're quite rubbery these. Let's just undo it. Let's have a look. 
Right, after you've shampooed your hair, what you've got to do is massage your head with this while your conditioner's on or something, right? Massage your head, starting at the top, apparently in circular motions. Get it right, okay? Circular motions and work your way down your suede, right? What for? I've no idea. Um, but yeah, that's what it's for. It actually looks like a torture device. I mean, I'll give it a go. What I'm expecting it's going to do for me is anyone's guess. You know what I mean? Um, using light pressure. Oh, it feels quite nice, actually. <laughs> now I'm saying it. It actually feels quite nice. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I'll give that a go. Why not? Oh, it feels nice. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Okay. All right, I was slightly, I viewed it with a high level of suspicion at first, if I'm honest, right? Um, it looked very suspect, but now I'm, um, now I've tried it, okay. Yeah, I can, I can see me getting into that, you know, like rubbing my head. Oh yeah, it feels nice. It feels quite nice. Do you imagine lying in bath, like proper like scrubbing your head with it? Nice, I like it, okay. Yeah, all the suspicion has gone. And I'm now quite pleased with it, actually. Right, so happy with that one. All right, okay, beauty box. I see you. I see you coming at me with your little head scrubber. Nice, I'm liking it. Okay, I'll put it there. Oh, my label's falling off, so that's helpful. Right, so I'll pop you there. Put my paradox there as well. What else have I got in here? Righty oh, this thing. What are you? Is it an air spray? Please don't let it be a dry shampoo. I don't like them. It says. Oh my, shine and fragrance spray. Okay, I can see me getting behind that. <laughs> Just throwing the lid over there. I can see me getting behind that. Right, let's see how, how shiny and fragrancy you are. Oh my goodness, it's got a very light mist. Right. It does just smell of shampoo, I mean of uh, hairspray. All right. It's definitely shiny. Look at that on my skin. Can you see it there? It's definitely got a shine to it. Oh, I quite like it. Oh, I'm quite impressed with that. Let's spray a bit on. Get a bit of shine on the air. Yeah, okay. All right, I like it. It's by Percy and Reed. What's it say? Oh, it was telling me how price of these other things. So the Paradox were worth £7.50. The Head Scrubber, £9.50. This thing, £12.00. Really? It does smell, it smells quite nice. And if it's going to give me air a bit of shine, perfect. Really, really like that. So super happy with it. I'll have to retrieve the lid later. But um, yeah, £12 for this one. So nice. Like it. Okay, I thought it was just going to be like um, a dry shampoo or even worse. Uh, no, not even worse. That's the worst. Or like um, a hairspray, you know, that makes your hair all like rigid, which I don't want. Okay, next up, what are you? Let's see. This one. Is it by Balance Me? Is it? No, it's by Flannery. Midnight. It's a brightening eye cream. Okay. All right, nice. All right, it's just a wee one. But that's all you need for an eye cream, isn't it? You know what I mean? I was just saying in one of my other videos, I'd just run out. I'm just going to have to change crap. My legs from being crossed the other way because they're hurting now, right? I've no idea why. Uh, someone's going to drop off one of these mornings. I'm absolutely certain about it. But anyway, right. Um, yeah, I've just finished an eye cream. So I'm going to use the other one that I got in my other beauty box first. And then I'll probably get on to this one. Given that the other one that I got in the other beauty box worth £89, right? I'm going to use that first. Then I'll get on to this one. How much is this worth though? Get out of town. £47 for that. No way. £47. Let's open it and see what it's like. It's like that. Right, white. It smells of old. Oh, it's very rich and creamy, actually. Really, really rich and creamy. Yeah, it smells all right. A little bit chemically. No, it goes off quite quickly and then it just smells sort of creamy. But nice, I like it. Right, so I've got two eye creams worth an absolute min in my two boxes. 
47 pound for that wow you know if these are about to go out of date right use them up by using them as whole face creams that's what i do because if they're good enough to go on your eyes they're good enough to go on the rest of your mush so i just use them up like that if they're about to go off um gone are the days where i waste them you know what i mean because I, I haven't got enough eye area to get you through them i'm now just using them up on face on the old face if it comes to it because they're too pricey to let go off you know so um very happy with that one anyway okay i'm liking all my stuff really really liking it and then last up something that looks suspicious like a perfume right here what are you and who are you by i've just finished um uh what fragrance is it anyway it's an handbag spray it's by floral street that's it i've just finished a floral street perfume in one of these size uh bottles that i really liked but i've just used it up yesterday it was so now i've got this one to stick in my handbag this is worth 32 pounds and it says sentier ballad in autumn eau de parfum 10 mils all right let's see what autumn smells like Please let it smell nice. Wait for it to go off a little bit. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, it smells really nice. I'm not sure how autumn it smells, but um, let's just put a bit more on. Hang on. I'm just waiting for the fragrance to sort of evaporate a little bit so that it sort of, um, I can smell it properly. It does smell really, really nice. I'm not sure how much autumn I can smell in it, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Did it say autumn? Yeah, autumn eau de parfum. It just tells you how to use it, which I think we all know, right? Now it says that oh, the contents are worth over 115 pound, but that does include the vouchers for the OK Beauty, the OK Magazine, that's what I mean. But actually, I'm really, really excited by all my products, right? I really like all of them. The Paradox is the only one that I'm like that about, you know what I mean? And no doubt I will use it. It's just that I, I much prefer the other products that I've got. So, um, yeah, my favourites, I, I think, I really like this spray. That's really nice. I actually am going to get quite a lot of use out of that one. I love the perfume and the eye cream, definitely. £47 worth, are you kidding? I'm going to use that up, no messing. So, yeah, all in all, a really, really nice box. I'm well pleased with it. Yeah, I'm going to get to using that tonight right, while I'm sat in back scrubbing my head. Right, that's going to be really nice. In fact, I might bring it in here when I'm finished and just sit, you know, for a bit, like, scrubbing my head. It'll be nice, I think very relaxing so yeah i like okay beauty box and i really like this one it started off not so well with the paradox stuff just i don't like the fragrance it's horrible but um but apart from that i've loved everything really really loved it so yeah well chuffed with it but anyway that's everything for today if you've liked this video please give us a like it really helps us out and if you like this kind of content you might want to consider subscribing I've left all my details in the description box just in case you want to contact me for any reason. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye!